Hey, hey, everybody, Kevin here with Pursuing Pixels, and I'm going to be playing some Kabuki Quantum Fighter. This is a lesser-known NES title from HAL uh, from 1990. Um, and, yeah, this one's a ton of fun. I've played this one uh, with my friends a few times way back when. I'm not very good at it, so fair warning, but we've been uh, highlighting some uh, lesser-known NES games on the podcast lately, and uh, I've just been itching to play some of these again. So I don't have the retro uh, chops that I once did, but... Uh, yeah, I wanted to show off just some of this game, because any game where you can uh, whip enemies with your hair is a game that I am into, pretty much. Uh, but yeah, an action, you know, essentially a run and I was going to say a run and gun platformer, and I guess it kind of is, because yeah, you get uh, this other weapon, you can press select to switch weapons, you can pick up more later on, and I love how you can do this, like, swinging as well. Uh, but right now it uses your chip energy or whatever. Um, and then you can, yeah, climb on ladders, it's kind of janky how you jump off of them, you actually, like, kind of don't jump. Uh, but yeah, you pick up health. Some of the boss battles are really, really tough. Uh, I haven't made it very far in this game at all. Um, but yeah, this is another one we're probably thinking about talking about on the podcast at some point. Whoops, let's switch back to the hair here. Um, yeah, because Randall and I have just been kind of digging into some retro stuff lately. Um, just can't help ourselves. Um, and figured why not uh, showcase some of these on the channel here too. I know we always, uh, or not always anymore, I guess, but tend to lean towards the indie stuff um but yeah i'm really really loving kabuki quantum fighters so far like really cool uh unique style too i mean you know it's got the nes palettes and stuff and so it doesn't look like completely its own thing but um yeah it definitely has like a, a distinct look for sure like i like these kind of intestines or whatever the heck they are in the background that are just kind of like pulsing the pink stuff yeah, I like how you can, like, kind of switch direction. Oh, you can even stand on some of these platforms. I don't think the uh, angled ones you can, but it's kind of, it is kind of hard to hit some of these enemies, especially when you duck. Oh, my God. Just let me switch back to my pellet gun here. Um, switch back to my hair. Obviously, watch out for these spikes. But it, that's cool that it looks like even, like, I could have taken the low road there. Oh, yeah, those were definitely intestines because those are, like, beating hearts or something back there. Watch out for this. Ah, oh, some kind of samurai like jumped up and just like stabbed me. I don't think there's any checkpoint there either. Could be wrong, but looks like we're back to yeah the start of the level. So we'll see how far I can make it. I'll probably just do my one set of continues. Maybe I'll play a little more than that if it's if this is just totally pathetic. But yeah, I just want to showcase some of these games that I don't hear people talk about as much. Um, not that no one knows about them, but yeah, back in the days when like I was doing a ton of retro collecting where I, I still do every now and then I haven't picked up anything in a long while but um this was one that like I just kind of discovered on like probably Racket Boy or something like that featured it as like a hidden gem or something on their website um and I was just like oh yeah this is pretty cool and then yeah one night uh or a few nights like me and my buddy DJ who's been on, on the podcast obviously and then uh our buddy Max who has not been on the podcast but he uh would come over and we would just hang out dj and i used to live together and we would just hang out and play nes games all night to the point where i would be like i gotta go to bed guys but if you want to keep playing like you know i'll try my best to go to sleep uh because the tv that it was hooked up to was in my bedroom but i was like yeah hey, whatever keep playing guys i'm not gonna make you pull the plug on metal storm um especially after i saw how pathetic i was at that game barely got to the second level uh boss Almost got stumped on, like, I almost want to call it a puzzle, but it was, like, barely a puzzle. Um, let me just jump right up there. I don't even need to swing. Oh, come on. Okay, get the chips out. You get the dip, I'll get the chips. Oh, my God. Every time I make a stupid joke, I mean, I obviously never stop, but I just hate myself a little bit more each time. <laughs> not, not earnestly. Okay, get this samurai out of here. I don't even know what it's, because it's like crawling on the ground, and then it... I don't know. Get out of here. Okay. Okay. Beat a level. I'll take that. Trade in my chips. It looks like you, maybe for your points or something, get some life and chips back, but let's use those for this. Oh, I don't have full across-the-screen range. I didn't realize that. Yeah, I've like beat, I think I've beaten this boss, and that is about it. Um, as far as... The nice thing, too, is when your chips run out, you'll just switch to your hair automatically. Like, it won't switch your weapon down there. Aw, oh, come on! I was gonna say, now I'm gonna have to do it with no chips, but I guess I do get to start with some. 
after I die. Dang it. Let's make sure I hit all these chips. Okay, I'm out. Oh yeah, I didn't think I was getting those hits in when they were ducking, but I definitely was. But yeah, you don't have a ton of range with that hair, so you gotta watch it. But there we go. There we go. Beat a level. Because I think when you get a game over in this game, it is like, for real. I can't remember if there's a password system or anything, but... Let's trade in for some life. See what happens. Give me some chips back. And let's go. Do I get a new ability here? No. These are cool cutscenes, though, too. Really like just the art and everything in this game. It's like kind of like I think it's taking place technically like inside of like a computer or something. Like you're hacking somehow, but my energy gun's power has increased. Nice. All right. Let's go round two. Is that oh, okay? I have a new gun. Oh baby. So I wonder if my regular one is also more powerful, but I don't have many chips, so I'm gonna save those for now. But yeah, I have not seen really much beyond this at all because this is as far as I've been able to make it. But yeah, these, this water stuff is super tough because it's like kind of like a moving conveyor belt. And then when you're in the air, it still kind of like affects your momentum. So it's a little tricky uh, to get used to. But yeah, I really like how you can like flip around on those. Oh, shoot. Oh, I like that kick too. That's the first time I've done that. Um, when you're hanging. I guess I gotta go back this way. Oh no, come on. Gotta get up here. Yeah. I think I can just cross that. We'll cross that bridge when we get there. There we go. Right over your head. Oh no, into the spikes. Oh no. I might salvage this though. But I gotta swing on this. Oh nice. Heck yeah. There we go. Ah shit. Like this is like you just can't move in the water. It's like standstill almost. But yeah, you gotta remember, you can barely jump off the ladder. Like, it really just kind of lets you, like, move to the side and drop off of it, essentially. God damn it. Game over? Okay, so you have a limited amount of continues. That's what it is. I knew there was something like that in this game, so... You know what? Let's use the continues and see how far we can get. Let's go. It's kabuki time. So far, I'm, I'm not noticing any, like, uh, annoying, like, enemies respawning everywhere. I guess I haven't done a ton of, like, accidental backtracking or anything, but, like, got just taking hits. Um, you got a pretty huge health bar, though, to be honest. Um, there we go. Just skip those fools. Just not gonna be able to skip this beetle, this cockroach, or whatever the heck this thing is. Dang, that thing had a health bar. There we go. Be quick, be quick about it. No! There we go, right over your head. Pull back, there you go. That's how it's done. Keep it up. Keep it up, baby. Oh yeah, I thought that thing was gonna hit, for sure hit me. Damn it, switch. There's no patience for that. Oh yeah, charge it up. Not even charge it up, that I just switched to the... So yeah, it's sort of weird, you actually just, it said my weapon was more powerful, but it seemed like I just got a new one. Oh my god. I think kinda doesn't look like it would hurt you, but I guess it kinda looks like the same color as this enemy. Is this the boss? It's boss time, I think. At least based on how that first level was. Nope. So we got some longer stages, okay. This actually sort of looks familiar. Maybe I did make it this far before, but... I know I didn't beat this level. That, that I know for damn sure. Oh, come on. That's a little cheap. That's a little cheap. So I gotta watch out for these spinning spikes. Oh, nice. Snag. Lucky snag, too, but... Oh, come on. Yeah, those, those enemies are cheap. They're after me. Okay. Get out. Get out of here. All right, let's try going this way. I like those, like, pulsing skulls. Dang it. Let's go, Kabuki. 
good soundtrack too, like a really good soundtrack. So now I know a couple things I gotta dodge. Hopefully I'll get a catch right here. Catch me if- ah, shit. Just don't let him get a second hit in, and yes. Ah, like that one's cheap too, it's just like, how are you gonna dodge that? How are you gonna dodge that? Can I go up and over? Nope. I think I could've, but, ah, one up. I should've. Could've, would've, should've. Whatever. Here we go. Now we're talking boss time. It's gotta be. It's gotta be, right? Give me those chips. Let me get the blaster out. Yeah. Sit down. Sit down, punk. How does it feel? Oh, yeah, you're done for. Do as many cartwheels and backflips as you want. Not gonna let you do that round off, baby. <laughs> so stupid. Uh, let's go. Well, that, this is definitely the furthest I've ever been in this game, so let's go. The Colonel has been apprehended. I don't really care. Oh. I'm, oh, am I inside their brain? I was thinking I was inside of, like, a computer, but I might be, like, you know, going through computer technology to... Oh, yeah, the fusion gun. See, I feel like I got a weapon added, but... Oh, what? Okay, let's see what it does. Okay. It's like a triple shot. Spread shot. Let's go. This song sounds really familiar, though. I feel like this might have been one of the levels that Max and DJ were, like, up all night trying to beat. Just, like, have it drilled into my brain. Dang it. You gotta get in these, like, tight gaps for these jumps. Yeah, it's, like, a little, at times, just a tad stiff. Not in a ter- God damn it. Not in a terrible way as I fall here like a thousand times. Oh my god. Okay, so you gotta do it from this top little lip. Okay. Just a little annoying. But yeah, like this ice will work kind of like the water does too. And you just kind of- Oh, shoot. You kind of like lose your momentum. You go slower, which is not what you would think from ice. So, just gotta be careful. You gotta test the waters a little bit. God damn it. Dang. This vertical level is not my friend. Let's go. Get over it. Get the fuck. Just take the hit. Okay. I'm gonna have to do some more perfect ledge jumping here. There we go. There we go. There we go. Come on. Got it. I don't want to jinx it because I'm not there yet. Up and over. Yeah. Grab it. Okay, just get up on the platform. Grab it. Damn it. Oh yeah, this this song is so familiar. Go. Let's go. Uh, left looks harder or easier. I don't know. I can't tell. It doesn't really matter. They're all hard. Okay, I can jump through those. Damn it. Didn't think it was going all the way to the end. Come on, grab it. I'm like, yeah, but if you're even touching to the side. Ah, oh, just fucking barbecued. <laughs> yeah, this stage is tough. Why don't we take... Why don't we take the high road? There we go, got that jump down a little better there. No, 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 no. Spoke too soon. Oh my god, I spoke way too fucking soon. There we go. Ah, come on. How do you dodge that? There's no f- Oh my god. There's no way to dodge that double spike. And there's no way to, like, know it's coming. Oh yeah, how's that feel? Let's just try to do this again. I was thinking about going to the left. But I did it. I did it the first time, did it the second time. Okay, I didn't think I could hang below that. 
yeah, if you even tap to the side, you kind of automatically, like, flip up as soon as you grab. So you got to, like, make sure you're not pressing to the side or pressing any buttons if you don't want to get tossed up into these flames. And then, man, you really have to time that. Perfect, because you don't have... Ah. Yeah, you barely have time. Oh my god. Another game over? Another game over? Let's do it. Round three start. Last set of lives here. This level's not not treating me well. Come on. Just take the high road again. Alright. I don't have to get so frustrated when I get there anymore. Oh my goodness. Okay. At least I... Oh. thought I was going to fall right there. I was like, at least I can get that part down. Oh, I can skip that one. Alright. Alright. First time getting through that without damage. And again. Okay. Getting better. Dang it. Oh, yeah. There's no way to go that way. At least not that I know of. Dang it. Oh, my God. Okay. So, it kind of depends which way you swing up, too. You can, like... Oh, right at the tip of my feet. Little athlete's foot. Tough acting to Nacton. Just can't fucking help myself. There we go. Come on. There we go. Oh my god. This might end up being my last life here if I end up just beating my head against this level. But maybe not. Oh my god. Or but maybe. <laughs> Because, yeah, by now you know if this is, like, a game that looks like it's up your alley and if it's something you want to check out. Um, which I, I recommend. Again, I got to be, like, in that full retro state of mind to be like, okay, I'm ready to beat my head against the wall. God damn it. Um, and try to beat this game. Um, and being, especially this one, being that there's no, uh, like, unlimited continues. I know a lot of NES games, no matter how brutal they are, it's like at least they offer that unlimited continues so you can... Yeah, just bash your head against the wall for, you know, as, as long as you have the patience. Okay. So when I get to these flames up here, though, it's just so hard. Damn it, yeah, and you can't pull back after you're in the air off that ice, too, with your jump. You normally can a little bit. You don't have great control of it, but it's pretty good. Ah, yeah, it's, like, so impossible not to get hit by that. There we go. There we go. Ah, come on. Okay. Yes. There we go. Get up there. Just get up there. Jesus. Yeah, this vertical platforming, especially with the... I really don't like how that jump affects your... Or how these conveyor belts affect your jump. Ah. Uh the momentum. Ugh. Well, whatever. This will be my last life. I gotta give it another try. That was the furthest I've gotten. Hmm. That one always seems to drop a uh, heart there. I don't know if that's always the case, but it's definitely done it pretty often. I like that you start with a health bar that isn't entirely full, too. That's kind of cool. Oh, here we go. I'm not gonna jinx it. Well, I just did by saying here we go, but got a fucking speed run going here. And a damage-free speed run at that. Nope. Okay. I'm obviously kidding. Ah. Uh, okay. Quick. There we go. There we go. This is... N oh, no! Far and away the best I've done. 
Get it. Ah, fuck. It's like, if you just get touched... At least if you're already grabbing it, you're okay. But if you're in the air, you just get immediately slapped down. Oh my god. And then I still gotta figure out this part. There we go. No, no! That is some bullshit. Okay. Ah, come on. I'm walking on a fucking wire right now. Oh my god, you gotta do that little tap jump and it's not gonna happen today. Oh man. What a brutal game, but really, really good stuff and kind of surprising from Hal. Um, but yeah, really, really recommend checking out Kabuki Quantum Fighter, and yeah, we'll keep checking out some random NES games, we'll probably play some more well-known ones as well, but yeah, definitely, definitely recommend checking this one out, but thanks for tuning in, thanks for watching as always, and take care.